Din 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 ya din din din. Hi, I'm Gindy Walker, and this is a 20-minute hit for Hema exercise routine. Uh, before we get started, there's a few things to make sure that you have so that you're ready. You'll need some equipment. I recommend a water bottle. It's nice to have a stick or a sword or something that you can use um, during the breaks. And I really like working this on a mat or something soft that'll give me a little bit of cushion because we're gonna be doing jumping actions. So it's really important when we get to the exercise phase, we're gonna be using 30 seconds on, two minutes off, so two minutes rest. During that 30 seconds, you wanna be working in a really intense way. You wanna be working at 80 to 90% of capacity, even up to 100% would be fine. So as hard as you can go. If you think about like sprinting or something, all out effort. You want as close to that as you can get. So you need to do that safely, and that means doing the exercise with good form. And I'm gonna show you a few different variations that you can do to decrease or increase the difficulty as you please. And so we'll start with the easiest version, and then I'll just show you the options as we build up. So we start off with squats. So feet roughly shoulder width apart, um, feet pointing forwards or slightly out, knees in line with your toes. Keeping a nice neutral spine, coming down, coming up. And if you go a little bit faster, you can make that a little bit more intense. If you go lower, obviously that's more intense. If you go less far, that's less intense. Most people should be able to cope with that. Um, to build that intensity to the level that we really need it to be though, I recommend pushing it up a notch. So we're gonna go to the jump squat. So you get into the squat position, you jump up, and then you squat again. And you go again, and you just keep going. So the jump squat's probably the minimum bar to get that real intensity above 80% of effort. From there, um, the jump squat, we can turn that into a burpee. So jump, squat, hop into a push-up position, back to a squat, jump, push-up position, and so on. The tricky thing about burpees is that um, if you're not doing it with good form, you can get a little bit of lower back pain and stuff. So it's important that A, you're doing it with good form, and B, as we go, we're gonna get tired and we're gonna need to regress, so we'll go down. So we might start off doing burpees and then shift back to squat jumps. And then if burpees are fine and you want to up the intensity a little bit more, you go down, into a push-up position, do a push-up, into a squat position, jump, push-up, and repeat. So um, that's the version that I'm gonna be starting off with, and as I go, I'm gonna regress. And the other thing that you'll notice is that sometimes you'll feel that you've got enough breath to keep going, but your muscles can't quite keep going, and that's a really good time to regress, because you want to really keep that velocity, that speed of action up. So what I'll probably do later on, after I've been doing burpees for a little bit, is I'll shift from the burpee with a push-up into a squat jump, and then I might just do another squat jump for a while while I give my arms a rest, and then repeat the burpee push-up. So those are your different options. You need to make sure that you can do all of them, you know how to do them, and you need to pay attention to your body as you go so that you can take a break if you need it. When I say take a break, I mean go down one level of the exercise. No pain, high intensity, should be hard to talk. Okay, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So hopefully you're feeling good and you can just practice some of your sword motions. Okay, during the rest period, I really like having a sword with me. I think about practicing 
um, some sword motions without moving my body at all because I do need to rest, but just exercising my brain a little bit. So if you can't think of anything to do in particular, a really good option, a nice and simple option, is just to practice your cuts. So down and down, across, across, rising, rising, rising with the false edge, rising with the false edge, and repeat down and down. And you could pick any cutting pattern you like and do that. The main thing is not to move your body because that's gonna tire you out. Just moving your arm with something nice and light, it's more of a visualization exercise. Now's a good time to have a drink of water if you need one too. Go! drink of water. Feel it a bit. It's good.
six, five, four, three, two, one, go. seconds to go. We're about halfway through now. If you can, it's nice to breathe through your nose and out through your mouth. 10 seconds to go. Getting ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I'm starting to have to really regress a little bit now. I can feel just the beginnings of a little bit of lower back. I'm not quite happiness with the burpees. So now's a good time to just ease off on those. So I'm not gonna drop them completely because with two minutes rest, I should be able to recover a bit, but I'll start out with a couple and then shift to squat jumps. Probably two squat jumps for every burpee. It's a good place to go. I want to keep the form as good as I can and I want to keep going nice and fast. Going fast is important.
two, one, go. Rest. All right. Two more work rack cycles to go. It's not long. Twenty seconds to go. Keep the intensity up. I'm gonna push, push, push. Five, four, three, two, one, go. This is our last rest tackle. Warms you up. These last ones are the really important ones because this is where we're really pushing your recovery system, your aerobic capacity to recover from a repeated exercise. Ideally, everyone would do a workout like this at least once every two or three days. That would be the best. But just any kind of Reasonably intense, active, breathing activity will do the job. All right, we've got 20 seconds to go. 15, get ready. 10. Five, four, three, 
two, one, go. That's it. We're done. Thanks everyone. See you next time.